We have an absolutely massive Woj bomb, and as far as how it impacts this next season, this one might be right on par with the Damian Lillard trade, as Drew Holiday, after he was involved in the Bucks getting Dame, is going to be going to the Bucks' top competitor in the Eastern Conference, as the Boston Celtics have made the massive move to acquire Drew Holiday. Going to the Trailblazers in this is going to be Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, a 2024 first-round pick, and a 2029 first-round pick, one of those picks is from the Warriors. Then if you're talking Celtics first round picks, they might be the new favorites to win the NBA title. They might be passing the Bucks after the Bucks passed them earlier this week. So you don't have to worry about that pick falling in the lottery or anything. So I'm actually going to do a video breaking down the new look Trailblazers team where I'll get into Robert Williams and those picks. But let's just talk about the Celtics side because wow, this is just insane. If you're looking at their offseason as a whole, they got rid of one of their fan favorites, Marcus Smart, last year's defensive player of the year. Year. And what do they do? They turn that into Kristaps Porzingis, who can be an elite fitting player in that team. And then they just get an upgraded version of Marcus Smart, an all-star version of Marcus Smart. He plays defense up to the level that Smart does, but then Drew Holiday could also give you 30 on a given night. And now you have Drew Holiday as your new point guard in a lineup with Jalen Brown, who just signed his Supermax, Jason Tatum, who is one of the best players, period, in the league and is among the favorites to win MVP this year. Year. Then you have Kristaps Porzingis and Al Horford. Then when you're talking about coming off the bench, you lost guys like Marcus Smart and Malcolm Brogdon, but then you still have Derek White, who is the potential to be one of the best six men in the entire NBA, and they can find some depth as well. There was also a question with Robert Williams or Al Horford, whoever was going to start between those two. So now that question's answered. They have Al Horford and Kristaps Porzingis for their front court. Drew Holiday, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown might might just be the new best big three in the NBA. This is ridiculous because if you're thinking about it, the Bucks. I think it's very fair to say they're getting the big upgrade when they're getting Damian Lillard in exchange for Grayson Allen, Drew Holiday around the margins. But at the same time, when you weigh the options of getting Damian Lillard, losing Drew Holiday, and then Drew Holiday going to your biggest competitor, then that makes it a lot more interesting of how the Bucks look with their outlook for the season after this trade. I think this is just an unbelievable get for the Celtics. I mean, they've played the Bucks well head-to-head -head too, and now they're getting Drew Holiday, who the Bucks just traded him, so he's going to want to beat them. This lineup is one of the best in the entire NBA. As of this point, even though the Nuggets won it last year, even though the Bucks got Damian Lillard, I think the Boston Celtics are the favorites to win the NBA Finals. Let me know what you guys think about this trade. Drew Holiday to Boston for Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, and two first-round picks.